everyone, it's Nona Grace. I am really late getting this video even started. I was waiting for Jim to come in, but he hasn't come in yet. So it's just you and me. And it would be you and me and the dog named Blue or something like that. It would be, I don't know. But anyways, I was thankful in the comments. It saved me from looking downstairs, going into the basement to find out what the name of that movie was. It was The Last Holiday. And it had Queen Latifah in it. It was such a good, good show about the lady but ordering everything on the menu because she thought she was dying. Well, yesterday I talked about manners, sort of, and please and thank you, how kids don't say it. So I guess we're going to do a little more on etiquette. Um, when the kids come here, I'll just talk about myself, basically, what, what I do here. Now, my kids all grew up with please and thank you and they can't say can I have because Jim would say I don't know can you they had to say may I have instead and when we had ta they had to have table manners that when they sat they always had one hand in their lap and one and the hand that had the fork that part the wrist only rested on the table not the elbow and you didn't have to hold up your head and when you wanted a drink you put down your fork or your spoon and you take that drink with that hand that had the fork and spoon. You don't do it double fisted. And if you wanted something that was across the table, you'd ask someone to pass it. Would you please pass? And this way it was passed because you didn't want the boarding home reach where everybody's just leaning over the table for who eats the fastest eats the most kind of deal. So that was something that the kids had to learn. And we always had to ask to be excused. Where kids today, I don't think ask. My kids do but my and my grandkids do because I'll look, I'll go, <clears throat> and they'll sit back down and they go, may I be excused? And when we had this one little boy that couldn't, couldn't make eye contact, he didn't even talk yet, but he would do the signing. So, um, but we didn't know how to say excuse, so we used to just do the sign for down. So we'd go, may I get down, please? And so they would do that. The kids would all do that. And my kids would do that. They, but they would say, may I get down, please? Or may I be excused, please? And we always said grace before meals. Now, there is a grace that you can say after meals, but I don't know it because we never said it. And when we were at the dinner table or eating, there was never any television on, no phones, no um, electronics of any kind happening at that time. You were to focus on your meal and have conversation around the table. They um, had to wait till at least three people were done before you could get up from the table. I guess this is going to be all about eating today instead of other stuff because it seems like that's what I'm heading on. But when they had to wait till three people were done before they could be excused because some kids could eat their food in like it's like the, a vacuum cleaner. They hoofed it down. And um, so they had to wait till three people were done, and then they could ask to be excused. And once three people were done, they could be done. They could get up. But then they took their dish to the kitchen, and they put it in the soapy water, washed it, and then they set it in the other sink. Because I have a double, a double sink. So the one sink they washed, and the other sink they just put it over there. And then Jim and I would check to make sure they were clean and rinsed, and then we would take finish it from that point. But they all had to do that. This way, they all had a little job along with uh, learning table manners as they were at the table. And when we went somewhere, you expected them to um, say hello to the people when you entered the room and goodbye. And if you stayed overnight at somebody's house, say one of your friends wanted you to spend the night. You always thanked the parent for letting you spend the night. A lot of kids don't do that today. And if you take them out to dinner, they should say thank you for the dinner. Thank you for taking me out to dinner. Or they should say some kind of thank you. Or if you drop them off at their their ball game, they should be saying thank you. And one day I asked, this was an older child, I says, because they were they were just kind of demanding. I says, can you use your magic words? And he goes, abracadabra. <laughs> and I thought, I thought, no, no, no. It's not abracadabra, it's the please and thank you. So like when I would give something to someone, if they didn't say thank you, I'd say, you are welcome. And 
um, then they would say, thank you. And I go, thank you for saying your thank, thank you. Because, you know, if you don't say thank you, I can't say you're welcome. And it's like when somebody sneezes and you say bless you, you say thank you. But some people don't like it when you say bless you when they sneeze because they just don't. I know like my, my nephew, um, he didn't like it when I said bless you, so I don't say it to him. But that's, I guess, the, the thing that I wanted to talk about was learning manners and having manners. And if you go into a building and somebody's coming behind you, it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl or young or old. You just hold the door. Let them go ahead of you. And now that's not going to happen at all because people want to stay six feet apart. So they're not going to open the door for you probably. They'll probably let the door just close in your face. So I don't know what's going to be when all this nonsense is over with because people were very cold and uncaring before and now they're going to be worse. I have a feeling. I don't know. What is your feeling? Do you think they're going to be worse? Well, that's my th thought of the day, I guess, on manners. So I will have to say goodbye because it's getting warm in here. Believe it or not, Jim turned the heat on for me, but he forgot to come in. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.